right guys, today we're trialing the new Earthwise 58 volt electric drive head for the uh, the Hopi Cutdown. Of course, this is my tried and true Revo, the demo of all demos. Um, went back to a standard soft seat. A lot easier to deploy with a little butt pad under here for my wife, but overall, pretty factory stock Revo. And that's pretty much it. 58 volts, same as the Echo. Hopefully the same performance. It has a two amp hour battery on it. So I'm assuming I'd probably get 35 minutes, 40 minutes out of it. I don't know, we'll see. So brought my fishing pole. So I'm gonna run this thing full speed, get some clips for you guys. And uh, from that point, we'll see the performance versus the Echo. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and just control it with the engine. And then we'll do a speed test. And then I'm gonna run this thing about three quarter throttle just for longevity to see where it goes. So, uh, We'll see what happens. Just like the Echo, nothing has changed thus far. You can almost bow steer with this. Right now my rudder is straight. Now this is, there's no pontoons on this, so it's, it may get a little uh, sweaty. Hopefully you guys can get something out of it, but uh, yeah, we're cruising. I don't know how fast yet, but we're pretty good there. Got something moving up here. I don't know if it's a manatee or what. Let's get this thing on turbo. Looking pretty good, man. I don't know how fast we're going. I hope you guys can get a little bit of this in here. But she is doing really good. We're coming out. So point A to point B, for that little amount of money is fantastic. So a little evaluation here. So we went through some very, very heavy, dense weed. Kind of plowed through it. Um, caught a little bit on the skeg, so I decided to go ahead and pull it up, clean it, and then uh, see what our battery's left, you know, what's left in the reserve capacity on this battery. So we're at about 45%, and we're now, I would say, safely at about 25 minutes of runtime. Just a good one. 
through this mess. Yeah, it doesn't look too deep, this one. So let's see, hopefully it falls off. I can almost hear that battery coming, kind of slowly fading. It's kind of interesting. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a speed test. Right now I definitely have lost some speed. I can tell the battery's losing its oomph. All right, so we are out of juice, so it's paddle time. All right, so right now it's about uh, 20 to three. So we, you know, we're looking at uh, 50 minutes I've been on the water. I haven't been running for 50 minutes, but I would say longevity wise, one pack of a two amp hour is definitely gonna give you 25 to 30 minutes of full runtime speed. So if you kind of just baby it here and there, you can get more, but the two, the four amp hour battery by far is gonna be your best bet. You'll get a solid, you know, 50 to an hour as far as 50 minutes to an hour. Um, so what I would do like I do with my Echo is I just carry a spare pack, pop it in, and I got almost two hours of physical runtime. So, I don't know about you guys, but, you know, I get to my spot, I paddle, I may move to a second spot, but, you know, at the end of the day, am I really running for two solid hours? You know, that's 10 plus miles. Um, not usually. So, as far as usability, super simple. It works just like the Echo. Just the battery, like I said, it's a two amp hour, so it didn't give me quite, the, you know, the 40 to 50 minutes I was expecting on a four amp hour. So, we're right about the halfway point, so... I can't ask for anything, you know, more from it. So we're going to paddle in and I'll go over it one more time. And uh, perfect day.